this video is going to be a quick testament as to why you should always carry a short belt along with some basic tools in the trunk of your saw. Um, and it's specifically for if your AC compressor ever seizes. Now I just took this belt off on this car as it sits. No lift, no jack, no really anything crazy needed. Uh, you do need a half inch breaker bar again, our favorite tool of choice for getting the tensioner. Um, but here's the long belt and the short belt <clears throat> is much shorter. What this will allow you to do is uh, in a pinch bypass the AC compressor um, and continue to drive the car until you can get it fixed. It's great for if you're ever on the road or, or um, you know feeling like that you might be stranded. You will be unless you have a short belt in the trunk. I have had to do this myself in the parking lot uh, back when I was running client meetings and putting a lot of miles on the car. I got out of the client's um, address, immediately had to go to an AutoZone parking lot because the AC compressor started acting up, and work with the guy to find the short belt and do it in the parking lot so I can make my next appointments. So it does happen, hopefully not too often, but if you get good at this, you'll save yourself a lot of hassle and headaches and tow trucks because with a short belt at least you can get the car going and back to a safe place, back to your garage, back to your mechanic. Um, you can drive as far as you want with a short belt, it's not going to hurt anything. You just won't have AC. That thing is, jeez, rock solid. Um, essentially what happened on this vehicle, it was being driven and AC was making some some loud noises, uh, indicative of an internal failure, and then it just seized, and the whole engine stalled, and the customer could not drive the car. So um, this is the reason. Look at that. That came and spin it. So what we'll do with the short belt is we'll still route it. If you notice, without even having the car on a, up in the air, we still have access to the um, crank pulley. We'll route everything as normal, but just skip. Um, belting this. So here's our short belt size. This size is for a 1999 9.3. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work on any 1999 to 2002 9.3 including the 03 convertible. And the way I'm going to route this is just kind of get a loop like this. And go in underneath so that way we can loop this around the power steering pump. Um, the back side of the belt will go on top of the water pump. This is why you should also have some basic tools handy like a screwdriver because if you're in an emergency situation and are doing this, sometimes taking off this air hose right here will give you better access to the power steering pump um, in terms of making sure everything's on and looped around correctly. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, there's the power steering pump pulley. Make sure everything else spins just fine, that it wasn't anything more than the AC compressor. Um, and with that air hose out of the way, now I can kind of reach and grab that loop that I made and get it around this pulley. Normally this would go down onto the AC compressor but and then loop back up to the water pump, but like I said, we are skipping that. That's the whole point here. Get this on, and you guys are going to be—you're going to watch me fiddle with this. And you know what? I'm not embarrassed because it takes practice. You know, pick, go to your auto parts store and pick up a short belt and just kind of practice and play around. Make it part of your uh, sob battle drills. You know, ACCs, short belt. Time yourself. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Once you get the power steering pump, I got this on now. The back side of this belt is up against the water pump. Next, you're gonna loop the crank pulley, and then you're gonna come back up to the tensioner and alternator and idler pulley. Okay, I usually end with the idler pulley right here. 
Um, basically, once you apply attention to this, the belt will get a little bit longer for you to just kind of slip this back over the idler. Um, but that's pretty much it. I, I more made this video to get on my soapbox and say that this is why you should always keep one in the truck. <laughs> It'll save you from being stranded. Thank mm -hmm. you.